Part of the fallout from this pandemic that shall not be named was fear. Everyone found themselves somewhere in the scale between white knuckle and meh. Well, I can fully appreciate the very real danger of COVID, let me tell you about real fear. When I was a kid, we lived under the constant shadow of terror of Russia dropping the bomb, baby. It was the kind of fear that encouraged an entire school system to run bomb drills where impressionable young children were told that if they hid under a wooden desk, they would be protected from radioactive fallout. Funny, I didn't see this in any James Bond movies. Q, forget the grappling hook. I need something that turns into a wooden desk. And they never told us why Russia would want to bomb Indiana in the first place. Surely there are more strategic targets than cows and corn. The crazy thing is we live with the daily threat of a nuclear attack and we never missed a single day of school. Today school's closed for hurt feelings and excessive humidity. Look, every generation has their thing. My father-in-law came out of the Great Depression. For the rest of his life, he couldn't shake the fear of poverty. The man would spend $50 in gas driving to another state to save a quarter on a box of nails. When the first of his four daughters got married in the 50s, he spent a grand total of $1,000 on the wedding. So in the name of fairness, every daughter after that got exactly $1,000. My wife and I were married in the 80s. Adjusted for inflation, we got a Pop-Tart. What will the residual fear of the pandemic do to this generation? Dude, for senior ditch day, let's totally not even log into Zoom. Ha <laughs> you're a wild man. 